What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and as soon as Amazon announced that they were doing a massive Lord of the Rings series, a lot of people who really love these stories, who love the work of Tolkien, got very, very worried, and rightly so, because what we have seen over the past few decades in Hollywood, we have seen this shift. They cannot create anything new, so instead what they do, they go back and they remake things. They use IPs to create the stories that they want to tell, not the stories that were originally intended. In Instead, they take something that's beloved and they put a current day twist on it. They put current day identity politics and inject it into these stories to try to spread their narrative. And we are seeing it over and over again with this Lord of the Rings series. The latest person to come out and say something about it is actually a Mortal Kombat actor who's very upset that no one that looks exactly like him might be in the Lord of the Rings series. You can see Mortal Kombat star Ludi Lin criticizes Amazon's upcoming Lord of the Rings series for apparent lack of, quote, any characters that look Asian. And when we take a look at something like Lord of the Rings, that is absolutely beloved, the work of J.R. Tolkien, something that was built up over decades he spent building this lore and thinking about this story, finalizing, creating this story. The reason that people love it is not because of the skin color of people involved. The reason they love it is not because of identity politics, this identity politics, that. No, the reason they love it is because of the story, because of the characters that were built up, because of the lore that was built up, the dedication and love that went into crafting this fantasy land, because that's what it is. It is high fantasy. It's not set in our specific world. It is a fantasy. And when you look at the inspiration for Lord of the Rings, for Tolkien's work, it was European mythology. It's Norse. It's Germanic. Uh, there's a lot of Christianity involved, but it is very much a European story. And that's a problem for a lot of people nowadays because people only want to see the skin color of someone. Uh, it doesn't matter what the story is. If you don't see yourself on screen, then that's a problem for woke losers like Ludi Lin. Mortal Kombat star Ludi Lin, who played Liu Kang in the latest cinematic adaptation of the long-running fighting game franchise, recently criticized Amazon's upcoming Lord of the Rings series for its apparent lack of, quote, any characters that look Asian. Lin's comment was prompted by a comment made by Amazon Studios head Jennifer Saki, who told Hollywood reporters Lacey Rose during an interview for the outlet's Hollywood's Most Powerful Women feature that $465 million budget currently allocated for the first season was intended to provide, quote, a full season of a huge world-building show. Now, this got a lot of attention. This is, like, scary with Ava DuVernay, unemployed Ava DuVernay just staring right into you. And, nah, I guess she's still working for CW. <laughs> My mistake. She's still working for CW, even though her New Gods movie got canceled. You still got, you still got CW, which is probably where someone like Ava DuVernay belongs. But it's talking about these quotes from Jennifer Saki. Uh, where you go down right here. They said it put its first season budget at $465 million, making it the most expensive series ever. Uh, they basically said the market is kind of dictating this. Netflix paid $469 million for two sequels. It's a full season of a huge world-building show. Uh, show. She goes down and then says, as for how many people need to watch Lord of the Rings, a lot. A giant global audience needs to show up uh, to it as appointment television, and we're pretty confident that that will happen. Now, there was some controversy that I saw over that. Um, I think she's just basically saying, we paid a lot for this. We need a lot of people to show up. Um... I do think that this show is going to very much fall prey to identity politics. We've been talking about it since it essentially was announced. You see these pushes to include this skin color and this race of people and this and this and this. That's not these stories. If you start changing these things, it's not the stories that they want to tell or that they supposedly want to tell. It's not Lord of the Rings. You want to change it into something else and use the Lord of the Rings name. But Ludi Lin did not like that. He says, it's going to be difficult to justify building a, quote, huge world without any characters that look Asian. Turn that imagine on us, Jennifer Saki. It's not hard. We're right here. So Ludi Lin upset doesn't think that you can build a huge world without any characters at location here's my question how did how did lord of the rings do in the box office 20 years ago i think i think it did pretty damn good it was actually a massive massive hit why would you want to change 
what you're already doing. Why would you want to change all of these things? We know why. It's about the narrative. It's about identity politics. This dude, you don't think that a lot of Asian people like Lord of the Rings? Is it, is it not possible for someone? Is it not possible for me? How about we flip it? How about me, a white man? Is it possible for me to enjoy a movie that has all people of Asian descent in it? Absolutely it is. 100% it is. And one thing that I'm not going to do is sit there and complain if I have a story about Asian mythology, ba like basically built up on Asian mythology and a story that's told within that. I'm not going to complain that there's no fucking white people, but that's what these losers like Ludi Lin constantly do. And he completely contradicts himself later. Look at what he says. Make no mistake, I ain't bitching, just a bit disappointed that one of the best fantasies in the world isn't showing love to all fans in the world. Do you really have to do this? This is how these people think. You don't have to do this. If you are a fan of it, then you're a fucking fan of it because it's Lord of the Rings. That's why. If you're a fan of it, then you are a fan of it. You don't, if you're a fan of it, you don't need something like that to pull you in, do you? But this is how these people think. Gotta say though, anyone who thinks Lord of the Rings is for white folks only because it's purely a white fantasy, you gotta check yourself. Of course, it's not for white folks. It's for everyone. That is the beauty of these stories, of these great pieces of literature that we have in our history. The stories are what bring people in. But when you start changing things specifically to try to pander to these different audiences and these woke losers like Ludi Lin, that is when you lose the story. That is when you lose the plot. And instead, you make your show about something else. That's what no one wants. You're, you're contradicting yourself because no one is saying that it's for white folks only. It's for everyone. The problem is where these stories are originated and where they're based. If you try to change that, if you try to change this European mythology that it was built upon, then you're going to alienate everyone because, again, you're ruining the story. Every time these people try to do this, it backfires on them. Every time these woke lunatics try to do this, it does not go well. But seemingly, they never, ever Dude. learn their lesson. With Fuck a stretchy way fucking ad playing god damn it i hate these autoplay ads um he also put out this tweet let's put a little asia in fantasia and some of middle kingdom in middle earth the actor added in a follow-up tweet your biggest fans have been waiting since the first age for it just saying again if you're a fan then you're a fan of it you don't need any of this nonsense any of this identity politics do you but you're not actually a fan all you want is to see Asian people on screen because they look like you. That is completely fucked up. That is real bigotry. Let's just be honest with ourselves. When you're talking about the only way you feel like you can really go and enjoy this thing is if it has someone that looks like you. That is pretty messed up, but that's who we're dealing with. Uh, the people that we deal with, the people that sit out there and scream for representation and diversity and scream about racism and bigotry, they're the ones who are actually looking at things this way. I guess it shouldn't really be a surprise. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. What do you think about the Lord of the Rings series? Are you looking forward to it in general? I personally am not. I, I think that it is going to be full of identity politics. I think they are completely going to jump the shark on this one. And I think it's going to be a big, big disappointment. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.